to week 42. This is long overdue, but I'm here now. We went to a Chinese restaurant this day and it was their like opening week. So they gave us roses. So cute. And here's a picture of the car uh, where we slept that night and us getting ready for bed. Sarah slept on a Lilo in the car and I slept in the passenger seat. Public land, Bureau of Land Management or something, which means anyone can park and camp, whatever they like around here. Super fun. We're glad that we have a SUV with four-wheel drive because some of those roads were pretty bumpy, pretty gravelly coming up. But you know what? We put our Ford Fiesta through Joshua Tree Desert. So our SUV can definitely handle it. Excellent, excellent vibes. We're gonna see an excellent sunrise tomorrow. I can't wait. These are just some nature shots and you'll be getting a lot of these over the next few vlogs. Just pretty places that we saw and stopped at. Um, and then we headed out to Petrified Forest National Park, which basically has all of these tree trunks and logs in it that have been there so long that they've turned to stone. They've been there since the time of the dinosaurs and the wind was too loud in this cliff. But I'm basically just talking about the petrified wood and you can see some of the tree trunks and logs in the background. This was my... I I think it's my least favourite national park of all of the ones that I've seen, but it still had some pretty cool scenery, as you can see here. And here was some tiny cornhole that we saw in a petrol station, and then we headed out of Petrified National For Forest to Sedona, which is like a hiking town and village place in Arizona. Super cool, super cool having all these red rocks around us. And we drove down this super bumpy road to try and get to a lookout point, but it was like scarily bumpy. So we decided we did not want to do that in the morning and we turned around. Um, but this was like as the sun was setting, the rocks all turned different colours and listen to the birds on our sunrise walk the next morning. We were hiking to this cave called the Subway Cave, which you'll see in a moment, and it involved this little scramble at the end, so a bit of a hike. It was a super cool hike though, like absolutely stunning, all of the scenery, and then these photos, so worth it for the photos. It was so calming, so peaceful up there, and just so, so beautiful to see. And none of these photos have filters on, this is just the colours and the natural beauty of Arizona. And then we drove out to Montezuma, which is these cliff dwellings built into the walls. Um, very cool to see. We saw a gopher, which we'll see in a second. And then we were tired at this point, so we decided to stay in an Airbnb, which was set up like a old style, old timey wagon. And you could only book it for two nights. So we stayed there for two nights and we just relaxed the middle day. I have no photos from that day, but it was in like a caravan park. Uh The day that we left the wagons was cold play day, so we drove into Phoenix, Arizona to see the city and to see the state house, and I don't know why I look so sad in this next photo, because the state house was pretty cool, and they had the flag made out of Lego, and they had this whole room where they were making, like, a train model of Arizona as a state, and the guy was telling us about Arizona history and about their plans for the train model. It was pretty cool. And then the highlight of the day, the whole reason that we were in Phoenix, kind of, not really, we planned this before we knew they were going to be there, but was to see Coldplay. Oh my god, it was so incredible. <laughs> watching this back I'm like why was I crying at the scientist but genuinely the scientist seeing it live was like an emotional cleanse I feel like my sadness about leaving Raleigh about leaving my friends behind it came out in the scientist you know let's go back to the start nobody said it would be easy no one said it would be so hard it just hit me right at that moment cried during the song and then it was like an emotional reset and from then on out I've been feeling great. <laughs> I 
I just love Coldplay so, so much, and I genuinely think they'll be in my top five artists of Spotify this year. So we drove out, found public lands to sleep on. This was sunrise the next morning. Super pretty, as always. Love to see it. And then we drove out to Saguaro National Park. Still in Arizona, um, but this was our last stop in Arizona, and it was just all these cool cacti. We are here in Saguaro National Park. It has tons of cacti around. I love it. I love it. I feel like I'm in the Wild West on the frontier. They go for literally miles and miles and miles. So super cool. Wow. I've been keeping a track of my national park rankings and Saguaro is officially my favourite national park. I will put my entire ranking in at like the end of these southwest vlogs. Um, but spoilers, Saguaro is at the very top just because when I think about like southwest desert, when I think about the western frontier, those cactuses and this sort of landscape is exactly what I imagine and it's what I expected and it's exactly what I got. This national park, because Sarah did her ranking as well, the girl I travel with, um, is very far down her list <laughs> and like I get it but I just really really loved it. I It was just like quintessential American desert to me and it was everything that I could have asked for. Super cool. This was a cool petrol station on our way through to New Mexico to our next stop, White Sands National Park. We were just on a national park tour. We heard that people bring like sledges to sled on the sand with. <laughs> this was Sarah's attempt. I should have taken my phone. Do you want me to take it? No. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Yeah, it's kind of steep. <laughs> Whoa, it looks cool. No, this is a flaw. <laughs> it looks cool though. White Sands was pretty cool and made for some excellent Instagram photos and also. It was so fun walking down the hills because the sand was so fine that it would move like water as you walked. It was crazy. It was so much fun walking down the dunes um, and just seeing something like this, which is like naturally formed, is so wild. Here's some more photos because the photos, just like the blue sky, the white of the sands, it was just so Go. pretty and really nice to see. And here's some more. Hopefully you can see how it literally moves like water. It's just wild like nothing i've seen before and also we get some scary trump signs as we're driving around okie doke next day we're going to carlsbad caverns national park so switching things up a bit but not too much because it's still a national park it was just this huge massive underground tunnel and cave complex oh my god was it cool it was, oh, this freaked me out so much. Those three little rocks up there called the three monkeys because they overlook the cave. Stalactites, stalagmites, everything you could want. Then we drove to Roswell, which was supposedly the site of a UFO landing in like 1947 or maybe the 1950s. And that was that. I had a little reminder here to tell you about some things I don't have photos or videos of. But okay, number one, animals that we saw. We saw a snake. On the road when we were driving along we drove over it but i don't think we like i don't think the tires went over it it was just in the middle of the road a big long snake um that was scary we also saw a road runner which is pretty cool um i think it's a national bird of maybe arizona fact check me on that the other things when we were in new mexico so like at the time that you're at in this log this is right in the chron chronology um you would drive for like literally miles once we were driving and there was a sign that was like no services next 124 miles so you're literally just on these roads these massive long straight roads with nothing just fields maybe a couple of cows around you it was so just strange like looking at the gps and it being like drive for 250 miles on this highway and there will just be nothing around you and when we were driving through new mexico um we were just like out in the middle of nowhere, there's like fields all around, you might be coming up to a town and you can see a prison off in the distance and there would be signs along the road saying 
do not pick up hitchhikers detention facilities in the area, which was quite interesting and a little bit unnerving, especially because, spoilers, but me and Sarah had to hitchhike later on in our trip, so we're glad we weren't in New Mexico when that happened because we would never have got picked up. Um, we also saw, oh, when we were driving um, through New Mexico, we weren't crossing a state border, we weren't crossing any border lines, but we had to go through a border check um, where they just asked us, like, are you US citizens? And then when we weren't, they were like, oh, can you show us your visas? Um, and we think it's because there were all of these signs being like, if you see something that looks like human trafficking, say something. And along New Mexico, I think is like the human trafficking path of the Southwest. So just those two things kind of unnerved us. And then this event that I'm about to tell you about actually happens in next week's vlog, but I'm going to tell you now because those two things kind of feed into this thing. So one day we were in a city, we were driving through somewhere and we were tired, so we were like, let's stop for the night. Like, we're not gonna bother trying to find public lands because they tend to be like off roads um, and they're just harder to find. And they normally take like a good 45 minutes to get to because you're driving on dirt roads for the last couple of miles at least. Um, so we were like, we'll just pull off at like, a lookout point in the city, it will be fine, like, no one's gonna bother us, it's a lookout point, whatever. So we pull off there, it's like 10pm at night, sunset, it's dark. Um, we go to sleep, I sleep so well in the car, like, it's kind of wild how good my sleeps were in that car. And I get woken up to a knock on my window, because I sleep in the passenger seat in the car. So there's a knock on the passenger seat window, and I wake up and scream, Sarah! And then Sarah wakes up and sees a figure standing by her window and she's sleeping in the back. Um, so she starts screaming and then I start screaming. And we're screaming for probably like a good seven seconds. And then I like realize what's going on and see police lights flashing in the wing mirrors. And I go, it's the police. It's okay. It's the police. And I think Sarah's still screaming at that point. So I like wind the window down, like get my passport out. They're like, do you have ID? Do you have driver's license? You can't sleep here. The lookout point closes at 10 p.m. So they move us on basically. But the split second where I get woken up by a knock on my window and I like sit bolt upright and be like, Sarah, Maybe the scariest second of my life. I thought someone was coming to kidnap us because we were already like a little bit unnerved by the don't pick up hitchhikers and the border control human trafficking signs. So that was one of the fun stories from the trip that I thought should go in here because if I save it till the next one, I might forget it. And yes, I'm in bed editing these vlogs. I walked around Boston 23,000 steps a day, so I'm tired. Mind your business. Back to the regularly scheduled programming, sunrise or sunset, I don't remember which one. Morning, we scared these poor little elk. We saw loads of elk actually along um, like national park land and things like that. We haven't seen any bears on any of our travels, but that's okay. This was either in Albuquerque or Santa Fe in New Mexico. I don't remember. I think Santa Fe. Um, there was a car convention the day we just happened to be there. It was like cool, kind of fun, buildings, quite nice. And then we found a forest to sleep in, a forest road, and the sunset was super pretty. Pink, purples, blues, oranges. So nice. And I need to stop saying super, but I think this is the end of this vlog. So that's another week of traveling done, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for your patience.